hey, drawing and painting too. So if you can see, I added a little bit more to our drawing since we talked last. Um, you can see I've added in the nose, I finished up the body. So you can see it's really geometric, right? Um, and so my next steps is I can, I wanna start adding some color and start adding some line. So I'm gonna start off, I really like that part. So I'm gonna take my Sharpie, I'm gonna take my ruler, and you can go over everything in black if you wanna go, I'd go over at least your pencil lines. Also notice I did it in pencil first, not Sharpie first, right? Because once you go Sharpie, you can't go back. Um, so you can go through, go over all your pencil lines. Um, if there's something you don't want pencil line, that's fine. And now how to add color, right? I could decide that I'm gonna go over all my pencil lines in the Sharpie and then add color using marker, using watercolors. You also noticed in your, I've given you, hopefully, oh my God, uh, if you don't have, you don't, haven't gotten color paper from me, you don't have color paper at home, you can use newspaper, you can use like the flyers you get in the mail, you can, if you can use, I can also set, I can also like set up stuff out on the front table, which I'll do for you, for you to get some paper. Um, so anyway, you can also use colored paper and you can collage. So I could decide if I wanted to, I could maybe decide that if I wanted this eye blue, I could then decide I could just cut out, like line it up here, then I can cut out like a shape, right? Then I can decide maybe it's not gonna be the shape that I had, maybe it goes a little bit more like this, goes like that, and then maybe I'm gonna put that. If that feels a little bit big, the beauty of scissors, you can cut smaller, you can't cut bigger. Right, so maybe instead I'm gonna decide I'm gonna have like blue on the eyes. Um, maybe this shape, ooh, that shape actually fits pretty well there. Right, so I could tape these down, not tape these down, I could glue these down, right? Um, also, if you want, notice you wanna stay with a color palette that's either the primaries or the secondaries. Um, and so I could also decide that maybe the whole animal, my geometric animal is going to be in um, color or it's gonna be all in the black and white and then I can put um, my color in the background too, right? Also, like once I glue something down, right? After I glue it down, I can always draw on top too, right? So let's say I glue down these, right? They're kind of looking like sunglasses right now. So remember when I'm gluing, I make sure that I twist, I untwist, I then start in the center. You just want like a little bit of glue, right? You And you don't want to get too, too close to the edge so it doesn't spill over the edge. So let's say I'm gonna put the blue over the eyes, right? Oop, it's covering up my Sharpie a little bit. So don't go over Sharpie first if you wanna do some like collaging. Then I could decide, right? I'm gonna add my eyes in the center. I also then could decide, and I probably should have done this before I glued it down, I could also outline the shape itself too, right? So another option for this part of the assignment is to do it in color. Ooh, if I wanna get even like trickier, ooh, I just had this idea while I was doing this, right? If I wanted to, probably red eyes are not the best idea, but hey, we're just gonna go with it right now, right? Because this is just practice, and my version is practice and fun. You're working on your final, which is also, this should be, this is about experimentation, right? Um, I don't know how much abstraction you've done before, so this is just trying to get a feel for it, right? So I could put in like my red eye, um, and then I could also draw in there too, right? Or if I want to get really technical, I could take like a whole punch or I could drop a tiny circle out of my yellow and have all those. You don't have to outline these shapes. I've somehow just become really interested in that right now. It feels like, ooh, and also I don't have to do like the whole shape. I could just do like part of the eye too when I'm outlining it. Um, I highly recommend not outlining it there, but like on a separate piece of paper. So I could do that too. So like that's another way to go too, that you can incorporate the color paper um, and that's another way to add solid areas of color. Um, I could also use my watercolor, I could use my colored pencils. Um, and if you want markers, just let me know. They weren't part of our original pack, but I can make you a pack if you want some. So media can be watercolor, it can be a collage, it can be the pen. You do wanna add some sort of element of color. Um, part of the second part of the process is adding color, but staying in a really limited basic color palette. So hopefully this is helpful. Please ask me questions. Um, I love, 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 love the questions. They help me to, they help, they A, help you make sure that you understand the assignment and B, it also helps me make sure that I'm teaching the assignment in the best way possible. So ask me lots and lots of questions.